Welcome to this week's edition of the First Reading, where I'll go over the first reading at Daily Mass for this third week of Lent. So on Monday, we hear the very famous story from 2 Kings about the Syrian general Nahum. So Nahum was sent to Israel to get cured, but he shows a lot of suspicion. Uh, the prophet is, meant, is sent to cure him in the River Jordan, but Nahum, this general, is very suspicious. But luckily, because he trusted in the words of the prophet, he was healed of his leprosy. It's a great story. It's the first reading uh, for Monday. On Tuesday, we hear from the book of Daniel. So Daniel, um, in this section of the book, one of Daniel's friends, Azariah, is thrown in with Daniel and other companions into the furnace. And so in this story, while they're in the furnace, they're not burned up because um, God is saving them from the furnace fire. And during this time, Azariah is giving a speech, especially recognizing the guilt of all of the people, but then saying at the same time, although we have forsaken you, Lord, but you still have mercy on us. And so that's the uh, first reading on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we hear from the book of Deuteronomy. So in this book, as Moses, uh, uh, the setting is that Moses is about to enter the Holy Land, or all of the Israelites are about to enter the Promised Land, Moses, unfortunately, is on his deathbed. So then he says to all of the people who will enter, he says, Do not forget what your own eyes have seen. And don't forget to tell about all of these wonders that God has done. Sp tell them specifically to your children's children, so that all generations know about God's greatness. So that's what we hear about on Wednesday. On Thursday, we hear from Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is lamenting the fact that, as he says, the nation has not kept the faith, nor have they applied the corrections that God has given. So that sort of stubbornness of heart is what Jeremiah is talking about on Thursday in the first reading. On Friday, we hear from the book of Hosea. So Hosea is talking about returning to the one true God. And specifically, he says, we won't call the works of our own hands, the works that we've made, we won't call them God anymore. But rather, we're going to recognize the one true God, the one true God who has compassion on the orphan that is, um, that is always there to heal our defections. And finally, on Saturday, we also hear from the prophet Hosea, but this time about the importance of remaining faithful and steadfast to God, not simply in the short term, but on the long term. So he, um, he condemns the kind of piety that he calls is like the morning cloud. So it comes quickly and it goes away quickly. Or he says our piety shouldn't be like the dew that passes early in the morning. So our, our, our piety, our devotion to God should be something long term, not simply short term like morning clouds or morning dew. So those are the first readings for this week. Thank you for accompanying me. If you'd like more readings or more videos, you can click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching again. God bless. Until next time.